Nadir means the lowest possible point in the fortunes of a person. And I feel like that reflects what happened to us as a band and how we felt as a band in the past three years. I guess I guess we, as a band, we made a lot of bad choices and um, put our trust in a lot of people that we shouldn't have done. We started this band to have fun, you know, we're just a bunch of guys that liked hanging out together. We wanted a bit of purpose with what we were doing and suddenly... We didn't feel invincible like we felt in the first few years. And then obviously with the accident, you know, we're having to drop out of tours, like things really took a step back. We went through a lot of effort in creating our last album, The Unconquerable Dark. Everyone felt like they were under a massive time constraint. A month spent writing, recording. We had to rush it basically. And I feel like the songs, although they were all amazing, I personally feel, um, they could have done with an extra couple of months for a production, an extra couple of months for everything. and it would have ended up sounding way more polished. And ultimately, after all that struggle, we felt that the release um, didn't quite equal the amount of effort that we had put into it for a number of reasons. A lot of them we felt were outside of our control, which was the most upsetting thing about the entire ordeal. We were getting emails, like hundreds of emails, you know, you got phone calls from people you don't even know telling you need to do this, you need to do that. We've got deadlines and we're all a bunch of like pretty relaxed dudes, so that atmosphere wasn't great for us, and it, it really sort of turned things sour. We realised that it was this outside influence, and it was this doing things for other people under other people's conditions and for other people's terms that was taking quite a lot of the enjoyment and the original love of what we were doing in the band away from us. I lost my love for music. For writing and I just wanted to leave music completely to be honest. None of us planned for this like we just wanted to play a few shows you know maybe do a couple of tours and like so suddenly we, we were in America you know we've been to Russia all through Europe Australia and we started to ask ourselves is this really what we want? We realized that we'd need something other than Black Tongue to fall back on. It was only having time off from Black Tongue and from music that uh, I realized that Although it was a bad time and a lot of stress came about, that um, music is my passion and it always will be. We wanted to gain our love for what we're doing back again, and that is a huge part of this for us. Hopefully that's all behind us now, and we can look forward to the future where we can be ourselves and have fun again. We don't care about the corporate guys, we don't care about making money for no one. Like We do this to have fun. and. That's what we really want to get back to. All of us missed touring and playing and writing and just, just having fun. We want to do everything on our terms now. Everything under our own power, like we did originally. And now we're ready to take risks. We took risks with the album. We took risks with what we're going to do in the future. And I just really hope it pays off because we've all put a lot of work into this. We've spent three years plotting and scheming about how we're gonna make Black Tongue what it was. Nadir is like nothing that you've ever heard from us before. If I could only use one word to describe Nadir, it would be big. Big is the only word that you can use because it's massive. You can't compete against it. It's its own thing. Like, there's never gonna be, oh, it sounds like, oh, it it's like this, or, or they copied that from them because there's nothing in there. It's pure, original, black tone. You'll get everything you want from it and more, and you were, you were expected to be so heavy, yet it is. It's unlike anything that I personally have ever heard before in my life, and that is what I love about it. We've had three years to actually properly refine it, and with no time constraints, no deadlines, we've finally got a sound that just defines who we are as a band. I say this with every album that we've recorded, but it's my favourite metal album, and I think that if you're recording an album and it isn't your own favourite album, you've fucked up. We finally managed to get a perfect blend of heavy, but not relying on breakdowns to be heavy. Like, every riff is heavier than a breakdown, but also as satisfying to hear as... I mean, basically, it's riffs. And I'm not going to lie, there's riffs, and uh, you want to hear them, I want to show you them, you're going to like them. Sounds real good, 
Feel cool too. If you don't like it, you're a poo. There we go. And I'll sit back down.